Hi, in today's training, we are going to talk about building a business. Where do I start? So no matter where you are in business, whether your business is just an idea or a dream that you have, and you really don't have anything tangible yet to show for it, or maybe you're just starting out and you have a few clients or customers and you're really just trying to um, put your name out there and have more people find out who you are. Um, and then you also might be someone who's established in business, but that doesn't mean that you're not building your business. I think at no matter what stage you are in your business, hopefully your goal is to build. Um, so I want to share just a couple tips for you and below this video you'll also have a PDF accessible for you as well. So really, no matter what stage you're in, I want you to really get very, very clear on what exactly you have to offer. Um, I'm going to share a little bit about my journey and the struggles that I have, but I want to get through a couple steps. When I got really clear about what I had to offer, this it just the momentum that I started picking up was unstoppable. So getting really, really clear on what exactly you have to offer. Now, this does not mean it has to be something tangible. Um, I want you to list everything. I want you to, if you could get a piece of paper and write out a hundred things that you offer that nobody else offers that makes you super super unique when you get that clear and that detailed you're gonna feel unstoppable because you're gonna it's gonna become it's gonna come out of your head and onto paper and you're going to be amazed of what you actually do have to offer so that's my first tip for you is to figure out what do you have to offer and then when you get clear on that now we need to figure out how. How do we get that in the hands of people? What are the ways that you have to deliver that? Now, I also want to encourage you to be creative in this step. So, um, you know, as a chiropractor and a delivering chiropractic care, I was limited to how I could provide adjustments. Now, there are other um, creative ways of providing adjustments to the spine. Uh, it could be a traveling chiropractor and uh, pick one day a week to go to people's homes. I could have um, got an RV and uh, been a mobile chiropractor where I'd go set up in a parking lot and be, okay, on Mondays my patients can meet me here. On Tuesdays my patients can meet me here. So just because you might think that what you have to offer is defined and limited. I want to encourage you to really be creative. Now, if you need help in this creative process, I want to make sure that you reach out to our Facebook group um, because if you feel stuck, there might be some benefit and um, uh, power to getting other people's opinions. It's always good to get other people's opinions. So what do you have to offer and how do you actually offer it? How do you actually deliver it? And really brainstorm on all of the different ways that are possible that you can deliver it. Now that doesn't mean that that's how you have to deliver it, but I want you to just re realize that there's a way that you can start to think out of the box and you might come up with an idea that maybe nobody's ever thought of that would be the thing that would set you apart. So think about that. Now, the most important piece of this, of no matter what business you're building, no matter what stage of the game you're in, I want you to know that this is what sells, and that's results. So what are the results that you get for other people? What are the results that your customers, clients, or patients will, will get by going to you for a business, by buying from you? What are those results? See, people don't buy your product, they buy the results that you guarantee. They, they buy the results that are going to come from your product or service or idea. So what are the results? And in your marketing efforts, and we'll talk more about this later, but in your marketing efforts, I want you to look at maybe flyers that you've done before um, to really encourage you 
to ask yourself, where are you advertising those results that you get for people? Because that's what they want. Are you helping their job get more simple? Are you uh, taking away one of their greatest struggles? Are you helping them save money? Are you helping them lose weight? Are you helping them feel better? Are you helping them get more time back in their day? What are the results that people will get by working with you? Um, now, on that note, think of the other the things that you've bought in your lifetime. Normally, there's a list of testimonies, right? People like to see proof too. So what is that proof that those people would be needing to see before they would buy your product or service? Do you need to have a beta test, a beta group? Do you need to try this on, on in your own life? Are you a living example of what your service or product provides? Are you walking the walk and talking the talk? So I think that those are great ways to help you start building your business. Um, and I'll just share a little bit about me. So I was a chiropractor, I am a chiropractor, I have been for eight years. And over the last couple of years, I've really been trying to provide something extra other than just getting adjusted. Um, I felt like my my mind and my heart was really calling me to do something outside of my adjusting table. So for a while, I thought that looked like health coaching. So I, I don't know how many hours I have spent putting together these little programs here and there, these little like, oh, come try this webinar and I'll teach you the three secrets on how to lose weight really fast. Or, hey, come do this and, um, will get you feeling 10 years younger. I mean, I was doing all these millions of things and they all created a lot of momentum. So really, once I got clear on what I had to offer, that's when I realized, oh my gosh, everything I have to offer belongs in the same place. Everything I've been trying to teach, everything that I've been creating momentum on, it all belongs in the same place, and that's this Mend Yourself Well, the hub, the hub of the Mend Yourself Well program. So I can teach on anything about the body. I'm an expert in the body and how it heals. I, through my own work, have done um, mental and emotional breakthroughs. I feel like I'm able to teach how people can think positively and change their life. I too also have experienced some spiritual shifts because of my journey and I want to teach that and how it all kind of mends together, it all meshes together and how one can truly mend themselves well because it's not just one thing I teach, it's all of the pieces of the puzzle that helps one mend themselves well. So that's kind of how it all came together for me is really realizing that, oh, I can teach people how to lose weight. I can teach people how to clear emotional blocks. I can teach people how to take supplements and heal their bodies. I can teach on chiropractic. Like there's so much that I had to offer. I finally was able to see it clearly and that's when this hub was born. So I wanna encourage you to do the same thing. Be creative in realizing what do you have to offer, how do you get the how do you get the product or service out there um, and then what are the results that you get people so when you find clarity on that I really feel that you'll find progress and momentum in building your business from the ground up or from wherever you are I hope this was helpful and we'll see you next time on the next video training